Good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Just, just me, give me one second. All right, so hello everyone, how are you? Fine. Good, good. Miss Claudia, we didn't see you yesterday. No se apareció por estos rumbos. <laughs> I guess that you have to work and I understand that. All right, I understand that. A ayer no pude conectarme. Cuando llegué a mi casa, intenté, pero cayó una tormenta y no había internet. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yesterday I recorded, I recorded the entire class in three parts. Tuve, imagínese, hasta tuve que grabar la, sí. clas la clase en tres partes. Una de 45 minutos, uno de 15 minutos y uno de una hora, más o menos. Sí, <laughs> sí, sí, sí. It was a, it was a, a hard night. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Cesar, Ms. Portillo, ya siguió mejor. Hello, hello, teacher. I'm already improving. All right. Good evening. You're improving, improving, uh, improving. Getting, getting better, getting better. My mm, my hip is, is better and my sciatic nerve is training. Okay, okay, All right. I so, have listened. But you need to continue the treatment, right? You need to continue the treatment. Yeah. Okay, yes, of course. Miss Karina Villeda. Yeah, can you hear me, uh, Karina? Yeah, <laughs> my my microphone was, was, off. was off. Yes, yes, all right. Sorry, good evening, everyone. As you can see, this evening is not only women power, all right? We have Mr. Cesar and we have Mr. Jimenez. <laughs> as always, teacher, as always. <laughs> Yeah, almost women power. I would say 90% and then 10% men representation right there, right? And Mr. Cesar says yes. He says yes. <laughs> Anayansi, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right, so let's begin with the class then, because this is what you're here for, all right? This is what you're here for. Um, we're going to use your microphones so we don't hear the, the noise in the background, uh, everyone, and then we take it from there. So as you can see, this is what we covered last night. So we finished the practice about the uh, countable versus non-countable nouns. And there were many questions like, how many glasses of water uh, did you drink yesterday? And then you practice this with some classmates, okay? Which is great. So I also explained this uh, chart, which basically tells you how to use have to. Have to is used for obligations, okay? When you have to work, you have to do a task at work, or you have to run an errand, verdad? Hacer un mandado, for example. So it could be a very important task or a very trivial or a um, habitual uh, task 
but we need to use have to if you're talking about an obligation. Si es obligación, vamos a ocupar este verbo have to. And then we have the variations. Tenemos las variaciones in third person, he, she, or it, we use has. En el caso de este, si usted dice él viaja, él tiene que viajar. He has to travel. Okay. Um, I have to be in class, you said, right? Todavía no tenemos el 80% de la clase, so we don't have 80% of the class yet. So you need to be in class, right? Necesita, and you, and you say, I have to be, right? To practice and not to miss uh, the percentages over there, right? Un breve repaso, verdad? Esto estoy mencionando. You know, just, just a, a brief review, all right? And, and the last thing with this was to practice a conversation um, in person last night. So that's what we did. So for this class, we're going to complete this uh, exercise about how to, and then we will start talking about moral verse, can, I mean, can for ability, can for permission, and can for prohibition. The, I mean, most of the class will be about moral verse, but specifically can, ¿verdad? La mayoría, la mayor parte de la clase va a ser para ese verbo moral, modal, perdón, eh, can, can, para habilidades, para permisos y para prohibiciones. O sea, ese va a ser, digamos, el 70% de la clase, sí, para darle su nombre. So, that being said, you know, this is all the practice that we're going to do today. All right? That's all the practice that we're going to do. All right? Uh, let me just one second over here. So, just to finish with the uh, practice about how to, we're going to do this activity. All right? So very quickly, I'm going to give you access to this, ¿verdad? Esta es la primera actividad con lo que vamos a arrancar y le voy a dar acceso rápidamente al sitio web para que usted practique. And we're going to do this individually and also in person. In a second, I'll be, I'll be explaining this to you. Voy a compartir pantalla completa para mejor visibilidad. Permítame. All right, just one second. Welcome aboard, everyone. Miss Sonia, Miss Susana Hernandez, Mr. Edwin. Who else? Miss Sulma. Good evening. Good evening. All right, just one Good second. evening. Good evening, sir. Let me just one second here. All right, so here we go. So we're going to do part A and part B. Part, part A will be individually and part B needs to be done in person. So you may write this down so you don't forget, all right? La parte una, la parte A, perdón, va a ser de forma individual y la parte B va a ser en parejas, all right? Let me send the access to you right now. Esto es instante y le voy a mandar el acceso. Let me just one second. Just one. I'm going to paste this in the uh, Zoom chat, okay? In the chat de Zoom, voy a publicar esto, verdad? Luego en WhatsApp. All right, just one moment. There you go. So click on that one, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. If everything is working correctly, uh, you should have it. Uh, I'm sorry, you should be able to access to a website. Okay. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. So just one moment, please. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. As a friendly reminder, um, keep in mind that whenever you open a website like this one, I erase the uh, the link, all right? I erase the link. Vamos a borrar la, el sitio web por si. Okay, let me just move on this. I will stop sharing this screen. And I need to ask, Mr. Caesar, is the, the access to the, uh, to the uh, 
exercise working. Está funcionando el enlace que les compartí en Zoom. Yes, teacher. All right, so it's working, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Here we go. All right, so I also posted this on the on WhatsApp already. Okay, so this is the the place in there. No le doy un poquito más para arriba porque eh, se va a dar, eh, o se va a mostrar la información del website, la cual no debería de mostrar, ¿verdad? Cuando comparto pantalla. Permítanme. <clears throat> so as I was telling you, we, we need to do uh, part A and part B. Part A is just to drag the words. As you can see there, you just drag the words like this, right? Just drag it. Okay. Like this. You need to drag it next to the subject, just like this, all right? And then, so you do this individually. Part A is individual. Individual la primera parte, please. And part B it says read again and write T for true or F for false. You see what happens. As you can see, this is a conversation. Since it's a conversation, you need to practice this in purse, all right? Before anything else, practice this in purse. Then so once you practice, you have the comprehension exercise. And basically, you need to write letter T, right? Or letter F, if you think the statement is incorrect. Entonces, hacemos la primera parte de forma individual. Vamos a hacer la, la, la práctica de la conversación, ¿verdad? Así como que fuera un listening o una conversación cualquiera. And then... Based on this conversation, you need to answer the statements below. Okay. All right. So let me ask you: Can I have a volunteer, please, uh, to do the first one? Un voluntario para que me ayude con la número uno, por favor, de la parte A. Por favor, de la parte A. Okay. Yeah. Me have, uh, me have a volunteer, please. Me have a volunteer. Okay. Uh, Mom, you have to cook dinner. I make it pizza. All right. So, have to or don't have to? So, have to or don't have to? Huh? Is it don't, don't have, have to? to? Is it don't, don't have to? to? Don't have to. Okay. Don't have to. All right. Is the third person? Right. Yes. No, I mean the third person. Ryan? I mean the third person. Let oh, me... third. All right, let me mute your microphone, sir. Okay. Yeah, a third person means doesn't, sir. All right. Sir. Uh, right. Yes. In, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to mute the microphone. I'm going to mute the microphone. All right. Ah, uh, I have a difficult with my microphone. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Let me let me mute you. Don't worry about it. Let me mute you. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Because uh, uh, I don't want to listen to my voice. All right. Because it's it's weird. All right. Tercera persona es doesn't, but in this case is the son or the daughter is talking to the mom. It's like I have my mom in front of me, right? And I'm, I'm talking to my mom. I go, mom, you don't have to cook dinner. I'm making pizza, right? Esto sería tercera persona si la mamá realizara la acción. Que sería, mom doesn't have to cook dinner. Pero en este caso, yo, José Alfaro, le estoy diciendo a mi mamá, mamá, ya no tienes que cocinar o ya no tienes que cocinar porque um, voy a hacer pizza. Pizza, right? Voy a hornear una pizza. Okay. So, don't have two is correct. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, can I have another volunteer, please? With number two, if you don't mind. So, can I please have a volunteer, please? Uh, okay, Miss Carmen, uh, go ahead, please. Uh, Brian has to buy a new printer. His dad killed him. Fix the old one. Correct. In this case, this is a third person because Brian is the one who doesn't have to buy a new printer. Why? Because his dad couldn't fix the old. Doesn't have to or has to, Miss Carmen? Has to. Yes, you're right. You're right. So Brian has to buy a new printer. 
because I would say because his dad couldn't fix the old one. No pudo reparar la antigua o la anterior. So that's why, por lo tanto, that's why Brian has to buy a new one. Okay, thank you so much. All right, number three, please. Who would like to help me, please? Number three. All right. All right. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay, we, you have to give my dear receipt to, to the cave. I want to make it two. Make it two. All right. You have to give me this receipt for recipe. All right. It's, it's a, uh, yeah, okay, yes. Have two, right, Miss Karina? Yeah. Okay, have yes, two. you're right, correct. Uh, so you have to give me this recipe for the cake. I want to make it too, right? Recipe is uh, the list of ingredients that a person or a, uh, that you use to make a meal, right? To prepare something, okay? La receta, verdad? Recipe, all right? Recipe, yes, don't have to. I'm sorry, have to. Um, one second. There you go. And the last one, please. Who would like to help me? Can somebody can somebody help? Okay, Mr. All right, Mr. Caesar. All right, and okay. Go ahead. But the other, the other, Nina doesn't have to type this letter today. She can uh -huh. do it tomorrow. She can do it tomorrow. Yes, it's an obligation. It's not an obligation, right? Why? Because she has a chance to do it tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. That's 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 correct. Now let's try to practice uh, or to say the, the statements from one, two, three, and four individually with your microphone off just to practice, please. Los invito a que con su micrófono apagado digamos la oración, verdad, de una forma natural solamente para desenredar la lengua, verdad. Entonces esto siempre abona, verdad, con lo que nosotros practicamos en el inglés, right? So I encourage you to practice. Now, just listen to me, please, not because I'm, I'm the best, but I might help you, right? Y si ustedes gustan, ocupen la entonación que yo le puedo dar como modelo a esto, right? Mom, you don't have to cook dinner. I'm making pizza. Number two, Brian has to buy a new printer. His dad couldn't fix the old one. You have to give me this recipe for the cake. I want to make it too. Tina doesn't have to type this letter today. She can do it tomorrow, right? In English, uh, you decide which word to emphasize. En el inglés usted va, va a decidir qué palabra darle mayor fuerza de voz en el sentido de que, por ejemplo, la número uno, yo puedo enfatizar el hecho de que no tiene que cocinar o el hecho de que no tiene que cocinar la cena, ¿verdad? O que yo voy a hacer o voy a hornear la pizza, all right? So it's up to you. I can tell you, mom, you don't have to cook dinner. I'm making pizza, right? You see the difference in there? Like the intonation changes, right? So it's up to you. So you can exaggerate. Usted decide qué palabra va a enfatizar, ¿verdad? Dependiendo lo que usted quiera transmitir. Brian has to, ahí yo me detengo porque quiero enfatizar la obligación. Brian has to buy a new printer. His dad couldn't fix the old one. Si yo quiero enfatizar, ¿verdad? En realidad me interesa el hecho de, de, de recalcar que no pudo arreglar la impresora que estaba, o, la, o sea, la, la anterior. O sea, yo puedo enfatizar, couldn't fix the old one, right? No sé si, si me explico en ese sentido lo que quiero dar a demostrar. Okay, yeah, I think I'm explaining myself on that one. All right. Part B. This will be in pairs. We have read again and write T for true or F for false. Okay. We have a conversation between the between Faye and the grandma. All right. And, and, and then you have um, por cuestiones ilustrativas, yo voy a tratar de, de, de pronunciar ambos roles y luego lo voy a dejar a practicando ustedes en los breaker rooms. Y a la misma vez van a aprovechar de completar esta parte de aquí, ¿verdad? De comprensión. Ok. So I'll do this. 
and and then I'm gonna ask you to join a breaker room so you can complete the comprehension part. All right, so let's get started. Huh? What are you doing, Grandma? Grandma replies, I'm trying to turn on the computer. You have to press this button. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to make a cake for my friend Olivia's party. I'm going there tonight. She told me about a website with lots of recipes. Do you know how to sort the net? No, this is my first time. Do I type what I want on the keyboard? Yes, but first use the mouse to go there. I mean, to go here. Then type the name of the website. There we go. Mm, let me get a pen so I can write some recipes down. You don't have to do that. You can print them out on the printer. That's good, thanks. No problem. I'll go make my cake now. I can help you, Grandma. No, you don't have to help me anymore. I know what I'm doing <laughs> in the kitchen. Okay, then I'll download some music over there. Obviously, uh, my friends, you're going to do this with better intonation, you know, with a better attitude. You're going to get into the role of the uh, of Faye and the Grandma and everything. And I just demonstrated that pronunciation, right? Ese como una entonación un poquito eh, no exagerada, como digamos neutral. So it was a neutral pronunciation that I gave you, all right? Without exaggerating anything. And that's what you're going to do, right? Eso es lo que vamos a practicar. On the part below, en la parte inferior, we have the comprehension part. So we have Faith Grandma is going to a friend's party. Eh, va a ir a una, a una fiesta de un amigo, ¿verdad? La abuela. Faith told her grandma about a website with lots of recipes. La nieta fue la que le enseñó, ¿verdad? El website para las recetas. Number three, Faith Grandma hasn't served, served the net before, ¿verdad? Nunca ha usado el internet. O sea, no le estoy dando la respuesta, sino que solo estoy leyendo. I'm just reading, all right? Number four, Faith Grandma doesn't have to write down the recipes. La abuela no tiene que escribir la receta. Faith Grandma needs help in the kitchen, ¿verdad? En realidad necesita ayuda de la señora. We'll see, right? Vamos a ver. Uh, and number six, Faith Grandma wants to download some music, okay? Up to this point, I'm pretty sure that you know the answers already. Estoy... Casi seguro que usted ya sabe la respuesta. All right? I'm pretty sure. So, what you have to do is, number one, practice the conversation. And number two, complete true or false. All right? I'm, I'm opening the breakout rooms right now. And uh, hope you enjoy the conversation in there. All right? One second. By the way, it's about to rain right now. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> All right, so rooms are open. Go ahead, please, and join them. Please. Hello, Miss Uma. Hello, Miss Uma. I'm sorry. Hello, Miss Uma. Can you hear me? Me escucha. Okay. I want to make a cake for my friend Olivia's party. I'm going there tonight. 
She told me about a website with lots of recipes. Do you know how to surf the, the net? No, this is my first time. Do I type what I want on the keyboard? Yes, but first use the mouse to go here. Okay. Bueno, okay. me pueden actualizar ahí que, que vamos a hacer porque me tuve que ah, levantar okay. vamos a porque no aguantaba el dolor. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Uh -huh. Esa es la primera parte y la segunda parte es contestar estas preguntas. Según la conversación, ¿verdad? Yes. Según la conversación. Okay. Empezamos. Elizabeth está. Sí, aquí. Ah, perdón. Copio. <risa> okay, okay. <risa> eh, ¿Quién empieza? Yo, si gusta. Va, bueno. chéverísimo. ¿Conmigo? Como sea. Ok. Empiezo. What are you doing, Grandma? I'm trying to, to turn on the computer. You have to press this button. Button. I'm trying to, to I'm trying to turn on the computer. You have to press this button. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to make a cake for my friend Olive for my friend Olivia's party. I'm going there tonight. She told me about a website. Of the website. Uh, there we go. Um, let me get a pen so I can write some receipt down. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can print them out on the printer. That's good thing. No problem. Um, I go and make my cane now. I can you don't how you don't how to do that. You don't how to do that. You can print them out of the printer. That's good. Thanks. No problem. I go make my cake now. I can help you, Grandma. No, you don't have to help me anymore. I know what I'm doing uh, in the kitchen. Okay, then I'll don't don't download some music. Thanks. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Una 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 pregunta. Eh, huh? Recipe. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Recipe. 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 If you say receipt, you're saying recibo. All right? So, receipt es recibo. Recipe es receta. Receta. All right? Recipe. So, be careful. Recipes. Recipe. Right? Okay. So, recipe. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Yes, sir. Sí. Yeah, let's try to do this one, please. The uh, the activity. Oh, si falta una, verdad? Porque si no comenzamos a dar respuestas, si quieren también. I mean, if you yeah. haven't practiced, that's okay, verdad? Si no hemos terminado de practicar. Um, Tenemos tiempo todavía, teacher. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give you, let's say, three more minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna send the message right now. Okay. Si quieren darle ustedes la última. Vaya, y después las hacemos las. Ajá, va a ir bien. Vale, comience usted entonces. Okay. What are you doing, grandma? I am trying to turn on the computer. You have to press this button. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to make 
I want to make a cake for my friends, Olivia's party. In the city of Guatemala. Hello, Guatemala. Hello, teacher. Hello, ya terminamos, teacher. Ahí está, mire los resultados. You see that? It's a perfect score, right? Uh, <laughs> Exacto. Como ahora estaba escuchando que como es internacional, ahora ya. Ah, okay. <risa> sí, con toda la pena. Aquí sí, mira, ahí, ahí pega más la señal. <risa> aquí está lloviendo ese... fuerte. That's sí, good. aquí no, aquí calor está haciendo. Yo pensé que iba a estar heladito. Dicen que es fresquito, pero le mintieron. Es, fre es fresquito, <risa> pero está caluroso. Bueno, afuera está rico, pero adentro está encerrado el calor. Ah, ok. Nice. Por eso es que no la vimos ayer, andaba de viaje. Sí, exactamente. Iba en el, iba en el, en el, estaba en el movimiento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. Cualquier cosa le pregunto porque todavía no he visto el video de ayer. Ah, ok. Y de hecho ayer fue algo milagroso que grabáramos porque en tres partes se me grabó el video. Es que el Inter, ¿verdad? Se nos está cayendo. Como está lloviendo demasiado. Sí, está lloviendo fuerte. Ajá. Entonces, that's why. Pero lo que nos interesa eh, es el tiempo en sí, ¿verdad? Los 120 minutos, al final, a mí me aceptan que lo suba dos partes, tres partes. Sí, Máximo. al final que se cumple el tiempo. Exacto, exacto. Nice. So, let me ask you. So, how do you say uh, el meollo del asunto de esta conversación? De esta conversación, ¿verdad? La receta. Where is it? La receta. Uh, ¿Dónde está la palabra? Ya se me perdió. Receipt. Ajá, a eso me refería. Aquí está. Mm -hmm. Está en plural, pero you say recipe. Ah, recipe. recipe. ¿Y falso cómo se dice? False. 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 Con una O. False. 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 Yes. Y verdadero es true. Vaya, si usted dice received, está diciendo recibo. All right? Oh, yes, <laughs> recipe. Y mire, usted puede imprimir recibo, le va a decir. ¿verdad? That's something else, right? <laughs> El recibo de los viáticos. <laughs> Cabal. Y entonces este es recipe. recipe. Si está en, en plural, es recipe. Exacto. Exacto. Okay. Exacto. All right. Va. Okay. Ya con ustedes me voy a quedar aquí para el minuto. Ok, <ríe> Perfecto. <ríe> nah, es como solo ustedes dos están tan solitas. Otros grupos están de tres. Mire, y en este que dice, no, esta es mi primera vez. Eh, que dice, ah, no, eh, do I, te, do, do I type no, what I want on the keyboard? Keyboard, ¿cómo lo traduzco? Keyboard, es el teclado. Keyboard, ah, tengo que escribir en el teclado. Yes. Keyboard. Es que como la señora nunca ha usado esto. Pues. Uh -huh. God. Sí nos pasó a nosotros antes de la pandemia, ¿verdad? Me tocó. Sí, bueno, mi mamá, Dios santo, con el teclado, ay no, y la computadora hasta que se enamoró del... Del Facebook. Ah, del Facebook. <risa> Mi suegra. Buen vicio, buen vicio. Sí. Nice. Uh, ya vamos a reforzar las palabras clave, ¿verdad? Como botones. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, let me reinforce on some specific words over here. Vamos a reforzar. ¿verdad? Algunas palabras claves. Don't get confused with el fondo de algo, ¿verdad? Con botón. All right? Este mismo es el botón para igual de, de una camisa, lo mismo se dice. Ok, you say button. Button. Es como que diga button. Es como que es en su garganta, ¿verdad? Se, se, se sienta, sienta, ¿verdad? Las cuerdas vocales. Uh, button or button, ¿verdad? Pero no diga bottom. No voy a decir bottom, mejor diga button. Como que quiere decir vato, ¿verdad? Pero con una N. <ríe> Perdón el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero más o menos. All right. So, button. 
a next thing uh, recipe. All right, recipe. Si usted dice receipt, le decía algunos, está diciendo recibo, ¿verdad? Recipe. And in plural, recipes. All right. And let's just keep on scrolling down. And grandma, aquí, over here, keyboard. All right, keyboard. El teclado también de música. So that one, y también el teclado en sí, ¿verdad? Keyboard. Okay. Um, let's go down. Impresora, usted puede decir printer o puede decir printer. You can say either one, right? Printer or printer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, anymore means ya no más. Esta palabra anymore puede ir junta, ¿verdad? Anymore eh, a la, seguidas solamente con un guión o pueden ir separadas, así como están acá, ¿verdad? So you can write them separately. Significa ya no más, all right? That's why, listen, please. No, you don't, you don't have to help me anymore. Yo no necesito tu ayuda, ¿verdad? No, neces no necesitas ayudarme más, right? Anymore. La pronunciación de don't have to, usted puede decir don't have to, haciendo un esfuerzo de voz bastante grande, ¿verdad? O puede decir you don't. Wrong, 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 wrong. Ok, wrong. Con una R. Right? Cuando el will se contracta, usted va a decir I'll, I'll. Uh, I'll go make my cake. I'll, I'll go make my cake now. Pero tampoco no nos detengamos en eso. Then I'll download, solo medio. I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh, something basic, but sometimes we forget is first, 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 first. Internet, you can say internet or internet or net. Si se fija aquí puede decir internet, internet, internet or net. Este bien, bien informal, verdad? Esta palabra, net, over there. All right. I'm going to choose six of you that can, so you can tell me the answers over here. Vamos a elegir a cinco personas para que me ayuden, ¿verdad? Eh, with the answers over there. In this case, I'm going to choose victims, all right? Or participants. The first person uh, is, let's see, Miss Vanessa. Vanessa Segura, please. Number one, is that true or false? False, false or true, ¿verdad? Falso decimos false, all right? And uh, face grandma is going to a friend's party. It's true. It's true? Yes. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Mr. Um, Mr. Oscar Gamero, help us, sir. Number two, please. Paul told her grandma about a website with lots of respite. Mm -hmm. It's false. It's false. All right. It's false, That's false, right? you said. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Recipes, right? Thank you. Recipes. Uh, number three. Miss Susana Portillo, please help us. Number three. Face Grandma. Face Grandma has sent surfer down. It's before. It's true. It's true, right? She was ob obligated due to COVID-19, right? So it's COVID, but that nos obligó. <laughs> right? Yeah, COVID pushed us, right? I see that. Um, for, the, for the good or for the bad. Number four. Um, Miss Elizabeth, please. Right. Grand doesn't have to write out the recipe. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yes, recipe. True or false? Recipe is mm, false. It's not false. Okay. You say it's false. Right. Thank you. Uh, the next one right now, Mr. Jimenez, Miguel, please. Yes. Uh, five. The number five is false. It's false in there. 
All right. Could you read it, please? Just to practice. Yes. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, face, face grandma needs help in the kitchen. Yeah, of course, it's false. Le dice, quitate, ¿verdad? Apartate, le dice. Yeah, yeah. Step off, right? So, go, leave, right? All right, thank you, sir. And the last one in here, the, um, Mr. Mr. Rodriguez, please, Francisco. Number six, face grandma wants to download some music, he's false. <laughs> yeah, it's no music, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a gossip already, right? It's a yes chamber. All right. All right, let me click where it says finish and see what happens. Check my answers. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to write down the recipes. Mm -hmm. According to the system, this is, ah, oh, yeah, we included false and it's supposed to, to be true. Grandpa doesn't have to write down. Exactly. I mean, there's no need for her to write the recipes because she can print them, right? In there. No tiene que escribirla, ¿verdad? Because she can print them, right? This one's true, right? That's true. And the ones on the top, nice. So we got nine out of 10. Okay. That's great. If you, if you wish, you can share this with me, please, in the chat. Si ustedes gustan, me comparten. El score, verdad, su puntaje en el WhatsApp, if you want to, please. All right, that's optional. Let me stop sharing this. And let's let's talk about something else right now. All right, so the next topic in my agenda or in our agenda is the following, everyone. Model verse. And we have three categories. Ability, permission, and prohibition, right? La por, se ocupa para habilidades, para permisos o peticiones y para cuestiones que están prohibidas. All right. Hold on, please. So, ability, permission, prohibition, prohibition. What matters to us is can, right? Can. This one. And this one or other. So don't pay attention to the other ones, my friends. I mean, yes, you can, right? But don't pay attention to these ones over there. ¿Verdad? No le pongamos ahorita cuidado a estas que están acá. Porque no es el enfoque de esta noche. Right? Los otros verbos modales como couldn't, uh, made, and mustn't. Cumplen la función de can't. ¿Verdad? Pero en otro nivel, ¿verdad? Eh, como más fuerte o... o poquito más suave, ¿verdad? Con, con un poquito más de tacto podría ser. All right. Model verse, pero esto lo vamos a estudiar otro día, ¿verdad? O quizás en otro nivel o con otro profesor. Entonces, uh, solo lo voy a mencionar porque ahí está, ¿verdad? Y obviamente hay que mencionarlo, ¿verdad? Pero lo que les quiero decir que el énfasis va a ser en el verbo modal can right now. Ok. For the next hour and 15 minutes, that's going to be... Uh, our topic, all right? That's gonna be our topic, my friends. So, can for ability. She can speak six languages, all right? I'm going to ask Mr. Francisco because I know uh, about this already. So, Mr. Rodriguez, can you hear me, sir? Your yeah, teacher. All right, thank you, sir. Can you play a music instrument? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, you can say yes, right? All right. Yes. And, and, and what uh, musical what musical instrument can you play, sir? Mm, bass, guitar, guitar, and keyboard. All right. So the keyboard, the, the bass, that bass, you say, bass, right? guitar, bass, guitar, and bass guitar. guitar. Okay, and the and keyboard. Guitar. And the keyboard. All right. Nice. Thank you, sir. So that's your ability, right? Okay, to play uh music right these musical instruments okay couldn't is an action that happened in the past or that didn't happen in the past like like in the case of of this conversation ¿qué pasó con la impresora? so what happened with the printer right bueno, esto es una pregunta retórica, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? the father uh, i think it was the father right 
couldn't fix the printer, right? O creo que aquí estaba. Aquí está, perdón. With Brian, right? His dad couldn't fix the old one. Una falta, digamos, de posibilidad es couldn't, right? No pude, ¿verdad? No pude ingresar a la clase. I couldn't enter the class, right? Eh, no pude abordar el bus. I couldn't take the bus. Ok. No sé, no pude llegar a tiempo. I couldn't make it on time. All right. Couldn't. Ok. Ausencia, ausencia de posibilidad. All right. Poder, ¿verdad? Aquí la traducción es, el papá no pudo o sí pudo arreglar la impresora. Ok. I mentioned that because it's in there, but lo menciono porque está ahí, verdad? Pero el énfasis va a ser de can, you know, for the present tense, all right? For the Be present. Sure. Yes. Uh, uh, we can use the couldn't like the past of can. Yes, correct. We can say that. Okay. Okay. But technically, they don't have they don't have uh, past or, or present or something. But that's what we say, right? To understand. In the Spanish. Correct. In, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's just uh, just another modal verbs. That's okay. it. Mm -hmm. But you're right. So they couldn't dance very well, right? They couldn't dance very well. When I was little, I couldn't dance very well. And now I can't either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so lack of ability, ¿verdad? Una falta de habilidad. That's what I'm saying in the, or possibility. What about permissions, All right? The most common, right? Teacher, may I go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> that one, right? May I go to the bathroom? We use may, right? For permission, but I can also say, can I go to the concert? But when you ask me, can I use that one? Can I say that? All right. Okay. Uh, can I go to the concert? So your children asking permission every single day, right? Your teenager, your teen uh, children, ¿verdad? Sus hijos adolescentes. Cuando piden permiso, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, when they do it, right? Sometimes they don't, right? So can I go to the concert? Yes, you can, right? You're asking permission. Can I send a report tomorrow, verdad? You have to send the report today, right? Lo tenía que enviar today, right? But you're asking, you know, can I send it tomorrow? Or can I send it as soon as I get home, verdad? O lo envío inmediatamente llegue a casa, right? Can I? You're asking, es como una solicitud, verdad? Pero una solicitud un poquito directa, you know? Can I? Can I speak Spanish? No, you can't, all right? Oh, yes, you can, all right? Can I leave the the uh, the meeting right now? I'm gonna say, yeah. I mean, that's okay. But um, sometimes we, I mean, I cannot give you permission. All right, in real life. Si te se fija, could could I leave early tonight? Si es una petición, solo está haciendo cortés. Could I leave early tonight? Podría no sé eh, partir o irme antes o más temprano. Esta pregunta aplica mucho, ¿verdad? Cuando dejamos las clases, ¿verdad? Porque usted tiene un compromiso o porque, no sé, algo tiene que hacer. Could I leave early tonight? No, you couldn't. All right. You may use your mobiles now, ¿verdad? Aquí le está dando permiso de you may use your mobiles now. Esta expresión es cuando, digamos, usted también está en el avión y le dicen, now you may use your cell phone. All right. Okay. Once again, when I'm circling, Lo que estoy circulando, ¿verdad? Es el enfoque de esta noche. All right? It's too nice point. Okay. Next one. Prohibition. You can't eat in the class. All right? Teacher, eh, sorry. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo? Porque entendería que los tres son permiso. Yes. O sea, los tres right. dan idea de, de permiso. Pero... Eh, Sería incorrecto usar cualquiera de ellas o, o es indistinto o, tí, o hay una idea especial con la que debería usar cada una de ellas. O sea, ah, okay. Yo podría decir, no sé si puedo decir, may I go to the concert? Yeah. En vez de can. Uh -huh. May and can are used in the same way, but may is more polite than can and could is the, the most polite, all right, of the three. Ok, si usted los pone en una escala de, de, del más, digamos, cortés, va a poner could, may, and can, like that. All right. I know you right now, and I can, I can, I can ask you, okay, can you say that again, please? Es como, spontaneously, right? 
but, but you can, it, luego usted pregunta, ¿verdad? Eh, may I say that again, ¿verdad? Casi siempre se aplica cuando uno eh, pide las cosas, por eso usted me está diciendo, may I say that again, pues, can I say that again, ¿verdad? Right? O sea, es más formal el may, ¿verdad? Right? Más formal, es como mostrar un poquito más de respeto, ¿ok? O cortesía. Y el could es como que no le tengo confianza, ¿verdad? Right? No lo conozco, o solamente quiero ser educado, le voy a decir, could I, okay, or could you repeat that, sir? Yes, in that way, you use it in that way. We have levels of courtesy, right? I, I nivel de cortesía. Okay. But in real yes. life, uh, sometimes we use can and may in the same way. ¿Verdad? Estos dos serían como cualquiera de los dos podría usted ocupar, dependiendo de, de cómo se acostumbró. All right? Pero es bueno saber lo que usted me acaba de preguntar, ¿verdad? En qué caso lo tengo que ocupar. All right? Um, una cosa más, acuérdese que can eh, se puede ocupar para habilidad, para posibilidad, para permiso y para prohibición, ¿verdad? Pero may no se puede ocupar para habilidad, solamente es para cuestión de permiso, ¿verdad? All right? Take a look at that. All right, that's another difference, okay? That's another difference. So, prohibition. You can't eat in, in class. You mustn't smoke in this building. Si usted le dice, ¿verdad? You mustn't el 101%, yo estoy exagerando, ¿verdad? El 101% le están diciendo no lo haga, o okay, o sí haga tal cosa. Cuando le dicen can, todavía le están diciendo de una forma indirecta, ¿verdad? Eso no se debe hacer, ¿verdad? Por favor, no lo haga. ¿Ok? So, and that's a difference over there, right? So, can't is, I would say soft, and massing is aggressive way to say. No por agresivo la forma de decirlo, sino que Van a haber consecuencias si usted lo hace, ¿verdad? You might think it's smoking this building. Some, maybe the police is going to give you a, a ticket, all right? Or a fine, una multa. Fine, como, como fine de, de estoy bien, ¿verdad? Fine. Eh, or if you're in a restaurant and then if they tell you, si usted está en el restaurante y le dicen, ¿verdad? Mire, no se puede fumar acá. Uh, and if you don't listen, all right? They're going to kick you out, right? Lo van a sacar. Okay. In Kent, ya se lo dicen de buena forma. You can smoke over here, sir. Ya, yeah, se le queda viendo. Entonces, ya, yeah, si no hace caso, le van a decir, sir, you mustn't smoke in this building. Segundo llamado de atención, ¿verdad? Basically, right? Second cult of attention, right? Y se iluminó, ¿verdad, Mr. Jiménez? <laughs> Me iluminó. ¿Cómo se, teacher, ¿cómo se traduciría entonces most? O debe. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Debe, debe. Debe. La pronunciación es más, como el diario. Más. Yes. Con T. ¿Y esta que está en negativa? De hecho, la T no se pronuncia, fíjense, en realidad. La T. Más. Eh, eh, más en, tampoco en negativa. Más en. La T del no, no se va a pronunciar tampoco. Más en. Okay. va a decir, you must en smoke, smoke in this building. Right? Sure. Uh -huh. Y el más en... Solo se va a usar con el you. Ah, no, porque es obligación. Mm -hmm. Lo podríamos usar con cualquier. Usted dice, bueno, yo debo estar en clase. I must be in class. Uh -huh. right? Right? No debo faltar a clase. I mustn't miss classes. All right? okay. no, no, no debo comer pan francés. Right? I mustn't eat uh, you know, bread. Okay? Things like that. Y ya si usted dice como que es una obligación porque usted está enfermo, ¿verdad? Dice, hay más exercise, ¿verdad? Tengo que ejercitarme, ¿verdad? Debo ejercitarme. All right. Digamos like que that. el máximo va para cosas más, más fuertes. Como de hacerlo, así. Más serias, sí, sí. Van a haber consecuencias si no lo hacen. ¿Verdad? Mm. En el como can... estoy enojada. Yes, correct. Correct. <laughs> yes, you can say that. All right. Okay. Now yeah. you know, right? Now you know. So, entonces yo les digo, uh, you must participate or you must uh, speak in English. Ahí les estoy, voy a ocupar esta palabra, ¿verdad? Bien folclórica, ¿verdad? Y con las disculpas del caso, ¿verdad? Los, los estoy como salvequeando, dicen por ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> uh, ¿Verdad? Los estoy como intimidando. Entonces, no intimidando, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos llamándoles la atención. de una forma Obligando. Obligando, exactamente. It's an obligation, all right? So you must speak English, right? 
Pero si yo le digo, you can't speak Spanish in this class. I'm giving you the option, right? I'm giving you the way out. Okay. Nice. So let me continue over here. So we're going to do this fun activity and I hope you like it. All right. And let's see what happens in here. No se la voy a, a, a como los trailers, ¿verdad? No le voy a dar ni un anticipo ni nada, ¿verdad? Porque quiero que cada ítem valga, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes van haciendo. Basically, my friends, uh, you have to guess if each statement is true or false. Some are very exaggerated. And some of them are very obvious that you say, no, this is not true, right? Or yeah, this is true, you may say. You, what you have to do is to, to check on each uh, square thing here. I will send you the access right now. Ya le voy a mandar el acceso. Okay. Bear with me just one second. Ese juguetito de las, de los, de los, de las, de estas páginas que son interactivas es una gran ayuda. Okay. Yo así le digo, ¿verdad? Juguetito porque nos ayuda bastante, ¿verdad? Hacer la clase un poquito más, más dinámica. All right. So here we go. I'm going to share this with you. You're going to do this on your own. Right now, please. Se fija que el idioma inglés, igual que cualquier otro idioma, no solamente de aprenderse de palabras por sí, sino que de aprenderse el significado, la forma y obviamente la estructura, ¿verdad? El contexto en el que usted lo va a ocupar. All right? And that's what I'm trying to do over here. Y eso es lo que yo intento hacer en la clase. So I just shared with you that exercise about can't and can, right? And my point is the following, my friends, before you start, in every single country, there are rules or laws to follow, right? In cada país hay leyes que seguir, all right? And in this case, you have to decide if the laws over here or these statements are true or false. For example, in Australia, you can buy kangaroo, you can buy a kangaroo meat in a supermarket, así como, así como en el país, así como en el país, Fran, o compraban carrobos, ¿verdad? Carrobos de tortuga. ¿Será que en, en Australia usted puede comprar carne de canguro? All right? So that's the point over there. <laughs> and Mr. Mr. Jimenez is like, mm, I don't think so, right? Pero eso me van a llevar. I'm going to go to jail, right? <laughs> yeah, be careful, right? Be careful. Okay. Nice. So let's try to do this individually, please. Uh, uh, just one thing. Click on that one, please. But don't, don't click where it says finish. But if you have it, we'll lose the other interaction with your friend. Don't give it yet in finish, please. Please, don't do it. All right? Please, don't do it. You just got to wait. Because you're going to compare this with your classmates. Let's see what we hit or what we don't hit. All right. O sea, complete el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Así como lo voy haciendo yo. Just like this, right? I mean, all of them, right? Sorry. Only one, right? Like this, like this, like this. And wait until I send you to the record. Y esperemos hasta que yo lo envíe a, al grupo reducido. All right? Si no, vamos a perder la gracia. In there. Okay. All right, so let me make the breaker rooms, please. Once you're in the breaker room, you can click finish and then see your answers in there, right? Ya cuando esté en un grupo reducido, ahí sí puede comparar, ¿verdad? Cuáles son sus opciones. If it's true or false, all right? Just one second over here. If there are no questions for me, I'm going to open the rooms right now. Si no hay, si no hay ninguna consulta o interrogante, iniciamos los uh, grupos reducidos.
So please um, join the rooms, please. Thank you. Hello, Miss Oma. Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Mi Saraí, hoy los, los, los hemos dejado desperdigados. Pero ya, ya vamos a juntar los hijos pródigos, no se preocupe. All right. Um, Puede ingresar, perdón, a, a, a la sala. Le sale la opción. O si gusta, yo la, la, la mando. Ok. Let me send you over. La voy, a, la voy a mandar a rebotar, ¿verdad? La mando a uno y luego la regreso al grupo anterior. Uh, friend. We need to go to we Australia. To go to Australia. <laughs> he say it's true. Yeah. Okay. okay. The second one is, second one is in, in, in Banuati, Banuati, an island in the South Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. You can visit it. You can visit, you can visit a post visit office a under, post the office sea. under the sea. Uh, this picture, this is correct. This is true. Yeah. By the picture. By the picture is true. <laughs> I think so. Nice. Todas esas cosas se dan en esos países. That's true. Sí. Hay falta que coma. Hay falta que coma. Hay falta que coma. Okay. That's true. That's true, right? People live. Uh, right? People live. Uh, next. Okay. Next. In Toro Gose, Akiva. No, no, no sabemos. No, yo, yo, Australia, yo creería que como es la mascota nacional, no. <laughs> la venden en el super. El amor de Sote, pues. Mire con que le dan carne de caballo aquí a uno, entonces puede pasar. Pues sí, los pinchos de San Vicente mm, sospechosos. ¿Verdad? Sí. Bueno, son. Muy probable, ¿verdad? Ay, no. Ahorita ya me delaté con la doctor over here. Entonces, Vamos a ser pásalo. vegano. <risa> Mire, en, en la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Que se haga vegano. ¿sí? <risa> comentarios, sí, comentarios. Sí, 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 sí. Llegado a la conclusión después de tres meses. <risa> ya ya <risa> sobre el cuarto mes, Patricia. El colesterol, ¿verdad? Bien, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Verdad, Mr. Cisco? <risa> ya sobre el cuarto mes, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Sí, ya. Yeah. <risa> Ya no merecemos una Coca-Cola. Sí. Solo veneno pide el teacher. ¿Verdad? Ya veo. Aquí enfrente de la doctora Mire, lo dice. En mi defensa, en mi defensa, en mi defensa de que no tomamos en la casa de eso quizás una vez al mes. Aquí never. Yeah. Prohibido. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Nice. All right, you may continue, please. Ok. Entonces, según, según el teacher es, fal, es, es verdadero. No, 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 yo solo decía. Este, yo me saqué 10, así que ya sé la respuesta. Ah, ok, all right. Excuse me. Pero, ¿Sacaste 10? Pero, pero sí, a, este, era contraria, ajá, es que por lo que dijo el teacher lo asumí y sí, en efecto, así era. Ah, ok. 
Más o sea, que comemos carne de caballo, o sea, hombre, ya no sabe. Si comen, si comen carne. <laughs> Uh, that's weird. Yo diciendo que no. like, as, as we, we can eat the national flower. The national flower, right? Correct, the national flower. Uh, that's good. No. <laughs> es que así no se vale, teacher. Why? Es que así adivinando y creo que no somos buenas adivinando. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, teacher, yo creo que en Australia no comían canguro. Oh, but they do, they do, they do. Did you know that? Did you know that in Singapore, in Singapore, if you if you uh eat chewing gum and if you throw it, you can be sent to jail. Lo mandan a la cárcel si usted tira la goma de mascar en el piso en Singapore. Mm -hmm. or, they, or they give you a huge uh, fine or a ticket. Right? In Singapore. <laughs> yeah, I know that already. So you finished with this. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes, we finished. Nice. nice. What was your score, Miss Miss Hernandez? Nine to Nine, ten uh -huh. because I I think they can't eat the kangaroo's meat. <laughs> the kangaroo's <laughs> meat. <right>? Yes. <laughs> Como es nacional, dijimos, no se lo van a comer. No, they don't. Yeah, they, they don't. I would say they don't care, right? No les importa. Porque creímos que son los nacional. Okay. <laughs> nice. So, we're going to stay oh. here, you know? Okay. Let's say in England, number eight, you can leave your bags and attend it in a bus or train station. Deje aquí usted su cartera, a ver si la encuentra. No. <laughs> you don't do that over here, right? Yeah, these are like strange, uh, I don't know, customs, right? I would say. Right, so, right, so let's go back to the main station then, okay? Ma okay. Right. Man All right, so we're, welcome back, everyone. Creo que muchos de ustedes ya dejaron de creer en la humanidad, ¿verdad? Después de esto. All right? Yes, you stop believing, right? Humankind. <laughs> I like this activity. I yeah, that's like a it. that's a great activity, right? That's a great activity. Yes, I like because because I, ¿cómo se dice que busqué en internet? Yeah, you have, you I, have to search, search. Okay, I search and uh, I see many in, stuff I don't know that yeah. happened. That yeah. happened. Want to eat kangaroo? Seis. Yeah, that's average, right? For you, that's average, but eso es promedio para usted, verdad? You 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 get you know better scores, okay, right? This is like the, the weird trivia quiz, right? Es como el, el, la trivia ex, ex, extraña, ¿verdad? De los países, all right? That's the weird, strange, or the strange trivia. I knew the one about Singapore, to be honest with you, all right? Because I read this before. In Singapore, number three, they can give you, three, they can give you a, a huge a, a fine a huge or a ticket if you uh, ticket throw if chewing you, gum. Uh, in Singapore, se tira. Simple, lo meten preso, le dan una gran multa. Ah, en Singapur. De hecho, teacher, no se puede comprar chicle. No, comer no. mascar es prohibido, mascar es chicle. Es, prohibido, es cierto. Es prohibido. Yes. I don't know why, but they want to keep the city uh, clean, right? They want to keep the city clean. And in Singapore, the public transportation is better. So it's easier to get a to get a bus than to get a Uber, right? To get a taxi. Okay, in Singapore. Se más fácil irse en bus al trabajo que encontrar un taxi in there. Okay. But let's continue, all right? Let's continue. So uh, who would like to help me, please? Read one, two, and three, please. Vamos a hacerlo de tres en tres. So who would like to help me, please? 
Just raise your hand, please. I'm looking at your screens right now. Miss Sonia. Yeah, thank you. And then Mr. Edwin. Miss Sonia, one, two, and three, please. In Australia. Espérame. Yeah, could you read the the uh, the complete statement, please? It's true. All right. You say it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, could you read that number two, please? And then. Two. Yeah. Okay. In Vanuatu and Iceland in the South Pacific Ocean, you can visit a post office under the sea. It's true. Okay. All right. It, it's, um, not, it's an island. All right. Singapore. Number three, in Singapore, you can buy chewing gum at the news. Agent. 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 Mm -hmm. It's false. All right. Yeah, that's false. Correct. News agent is the person who sells the newspaper, right? In the morning. That's a news agent because they have a news stand, right? Tienen un puestecito. Stand, como pararse, ese es un puesto. Okay. okay. Thank you, uh, Miss Sonia. Mr. Edwin, go ahead, sir. Uh, in Dubai, Dubai, yes, you can sky inside a sports center. It's true. Yes. Why you can have a hamburger at McDonald's in India? It's false. Uh, so, and do you know the reason why, sir? Do you know the reason why? There you go. Yes, Mr. Edwin. Okay. Sure. Yes. Uh, six. Yeah, but let me stop. Perdón que lo interrumpa. Perdón que lo interrumpa. ¿Sabe por qué no comen hamburguesas ahí en India? Do you know why? Do you know why? They are vegetarians. They're, they're veggies, correct. But because cows are sacred, all right? Cows are sacred, okay? Las vacas, verdad, o el ganado es sagrado, all right? Because they believe in re reincarnation, by the way. Over there. <laughs> yes, it's true, it's true, all right? Okay, continue, please. Six, in Brazil, you can go to a restaurant where you pay for your food by the kilo. It's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Thank you, sir. Okay, one more volunteer, please. All right. Floor, thank you. All right. Finish. In, Seven. Sweden. In, uh, in Sweden, you can stay in a hotel made of ice. It's true. Yeah, that's true. Eight. In England, you can. You can uh, leave leave it your bag under the in a bag of the train station is false. That is false, right? Here in El Salvador is the same thing, right? It disappears, right? It goes away. <laughs> it goes away, right? Unfortunately. Continue this one. In France, you can kiss off the train platform. Uh, is, is false. Is false, you said. Uh, is in true or false? Is is true? Is true? All right. So people say, let's go to France. <laughs> <laughs> so it's true. Uh, yes. True. The last one. Uh, number, the last one. Uh, number, yes. Is, is you can throw. Uh, you can throw tomatoes at each other in the street during the tomato Tomatina. in Spain. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It's a celebration, Tomatina. by the way. It's a, uh, it's a worldwide uh, non-celebration. It's reconocida mundialmente. It's worldwide celebration. Okay? Worldwide okay. Ce celebration. So let's click on this one. Finish. And, yeah. Yeah. No, it's actually false. False, yes, it's false. All right, nice. So don't go to France then. You're gonna you're gonna go to jail. Right? Teacher, yes. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Teacher. Yes, I can like can hear you. Yeah, nice. 
eh, en la 4 eh, yo este traducí la palabra donde dice tú puedes esquiar dentro en un deporte en un centro de deporte pero no hay a mí me traduce el, el traductor bien rara la palabra es un centro un centro recreativo verdad pero de deporte mm, es que dice adentro es un deporte centro decir sí no no es va imagínese como el indes que tuvieron una pista de hielo verdad uh -huh. o sea acuérdese que Dubai ahí no no neva entonces tienen que ellos recrear, ¿verdad? Eso. Igual que en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Que hacen, ¿verdad? Y ponen las pistas de, de patinar. Ah, uh, ok. Gracias. Thank you. You're very welcome. So if you got six or seven, that's okay, but we need to read a little bit more or I don't know, watch more NAPG or Discovery Channel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ah, todos los años que lo he visto, have paid off, ¿verdad? Me han pagado. <laughs> Gran comercial, ¿verdad? Uh, all right, so just one second. Let's see what's next over here. Um, okay. Let's go to, to, the, to the presentation that I have with you already over here. Okay. There you go. So right now, take a look at this uh, vocabulary. It has to do with places and things. Vocabulary in estos momentos. You can uh, write this down or you may wait until I share with you the presentation. Ayer no les compartí la presentación de la clase porque si, si ustedes se percataron, fue práctica y la práctica se hizo en línea, ¿verdad? Entonces no había algo que podía compartirles de la clase. Ok, no sé si, si se preguntaron, ¿verdad? No, no compartió la presentación. Ok, pero fueron actividades así como esta, ¿verdad? Decía, si la gente comía la carne de, ya saben, de, de este animal. Um, so places and things. I'm going to play the, the audio, listen please. And then you have to match the uh, places with um, the description over there. In your notebooks, or in your cell phone, do a list from one to eight, all right? And you don't have to write the word down. You just need to write the letter. For example, uh, one is, is uh, So aspirin, you can buy that at, at a drugstore, right? Uh, two, you can buy bread at, and you write the letter in there. Usted va a poner, ¿verdad? El lugar donde puede comprar, ¿verdad? El producto que está ahí, ¿verdad? Del, del 1 al 8. Entonces, lo que les pido es, haga una lista del 1 al 8 en su cuaderno, o escribe la palabra aspirin, bread, dictionary, gasoline, sandwich, stamps, a suit, traveler's checks, o solamente espera a que el, el, el audio se reproduzca. It's up to you. Hold on, please. Dejo de compartir. Ya les comparto. One second. And here we go. So listen up, please. Right now, just listen. Um, so the places are post office, a drugstore, gas station, department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, and a supermarket. ¿verdad? La parte de abajo quizás no se mira muy bien, ya vamos a ver cómo lo arreglamos. Here we go. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, exercise 1. Word power. Places and volumen, things. Porque se Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a suit at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. All right. So those are the words that we have. 
And the expression that the lady states is you can buy, right? You can buy an aspirin, you can buy bread, you can buy a dictionary, you can buy gasoline, you can buy the sandwich, and then you have to match the places in there, all right? Bear with me just one second. So what would be the translation of traveler's checks? ¿Cuál sería la traducción apropiada, verdad, para esa palabra? Traveler's check. Is it a cheque de, cheque de viajero? Cheque de viajero. How does that work? If somebody would like to explain it, please. ¿Cómo funcionan esos cheques? Perdón. No, you have no idea. No. Right, because I honestly don't know, right? I mean, you may Google it, but, but that's okay. I mean, no problem. Right. So. Los cheques de viajero. Uh, Eh, los cheques de viajero funcionan como efectivo en el extranjero. Uh -huh. O sea, no necesitan dar el, el, el efectivo. Ok, ok. Right. Uh -huh. Interesting, right? Cuando tengo una chequera, ¿verdad? <laughs> nice. All right, appreciate that. Appreciate your help, Miss Claudia. All right, so uh, going back to the uh, images over there, I just need to clarify something here. Bookstore is the place where you can buy the books. And a library is which you can borrow the books. And la biblioteca is library. Bookstore is la librería. Pero si se fija, librería está más cerca. Pareciera que librería es la traducción de library. ¿Verdad? But that's not the case. Bookstore is la, la librería, ¿verdad? Bookstore es librería donde usted compra libros. Ok. Y la, y la biblioteca es library, right? Bueno, espero no haberlos confundido. So, can I have a volunteer, please? That can help us match the answers in there, please. Voluntario que nos ayude con la respuesta, por favor. Like, number one is B, number two is C, three is D, that, please. Uh -huh. Miss Evelyn, thank you, go ahead. Uh, the aspirin is B. You say it's uh, the bread is a supermarket, it's H. Uh, a dictionary, F, a uh, bookstore, uh, gasoline, S is C, a uh, gas station, five, a uh, sandwich is G, a coffee shop. Uh, stamps is a a post office seven a suite is d a department store and a travelers checks is e a bank all right so bread you said is h you said dictionary bread is h all right. uh, supermarket let me do something here, right? Vamos a, voy, voy a hacerlo de una forma un poquito más ordenada. Permítame. I'm going to use another uh, app over here. All right. There we go. Uh, yeah. Hold on. One second. I mean, just one second. You can buy. Um, Sometimes technology is overwhelming more of that, right? And I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, right? I'm gonna do a list in here. And then um, vamos a hacer una lista aquí rapidito, permítanme. Aquí está. Bye. Now you can do it. So number one is uh, so aspirin is letter B. You said number two, Miss Evelyn. H. H. All right. Three. F. F. All right. Four. C. Four is C. 
Uh, y is G. All right. Um, six is A. Okay. Uh, seven D. Mm -hmm. And A is E. E, all right, thank you. So now we can say like if it's a uh, 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 real life, we can say uh, number one. So you can buy an aspirin um, at a drugstore. You can buy bread at a supermarket. You can buy at a dictionary at a, at a bookstore. You can buy gasoline at a gas station and so on. So that's what we're going to do right now with your microphone off, okay? In 30 seconds. Let's try to do it, please. Let's try to do that, please. Let's try to practice that. Now that we have the answers, all right? Now that we have the answers. Uh, so you can buy a traveler traveler's checks, or you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. You can buy a suit at a department store. You can buy stamps at a post office, a sandwich at a coffee shop, okay? Just like that. ¿Quién se anima? You know, can I have a volunteer, please? Que haga, verdad, esa práctica. No de todo, but not everything, but at least some of them, right? Like half, right, of the statements in there. Uh, I have. Miss can... Trina, go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. You can buy an aspirin in the, in a bookstore. All right. Sorry. Yes. A drugstore, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you can a, buy bread at a supermarket. At a you supermarket. can buy a, you mm -hmm. can buy a dictionary, a bookstore. You can buy a gasoline, a gas station. Mm -hmm. You can buy a sandwich, a coffee shop. At a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. continue. Yeah, you might continue if you want to. Okay, you can buy a stamp, a post office. Uh, you can buy a suite, a department store, and you can buy a traveling checks a in a bank. At, at a bank, right? Or in a bank? Yes, a bank. that's a good. That's a good suggestion in there. Instead of saying at a bank, you can say in a bank, and it's okay. Para que sea un poquito más, más completo, y esto es para todo sugerencia, va a decir, okay, you can buy an aspirin uh, in a drugstore, right? Uh, you can buy bread in a supermarket, okay? Si se le facilita decir in a, diga eso, si se le facilita decir ara, at, a, say that, please, okay? Thank you so much. So, but we, we need to continue over here. All right, we need to continue. Um, next activity here. It's a listening, by the way, my friends. This one, it's going to be a listening. So you gotta be ready to take notes. I will share with you the image in there. Para esta ocasión, si le voy a compartir, verdad, la diapositiva en sí, el audio, no? Pero la diapositiva para que usted lo tenga a mano. And that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. There you go. I'm sending that to you right now. All right. So let me share the screen again. Les comparto pantalla y les doy las indicaciones, verdad? Brevemente. Permítanme. One second. So take a look at the image that I just shared with you. So get familiar with that one, please. Familiaricemos un poquito, verdad, con la imagen que les mandé por ahí. One second. All right. I do believe, uh, everyone, that through listening, you learn vocab vocabulary, right? You not only pr practice uh, your listening skills, but also learn vocabulary. Yo creo que usted, cuando practica los audios, no solo eh, practica su oído, ¿verdad? Y se acostumbra al acento y todo eso, y a la comprensión de lo que se está diciendo, pero también aprende vocabulario de una forma indirecta. Entonces, listening, I need a swimsuit. Swim suit, un nuevo traje de baño, all right? Swim suit, suit, swim suit, all right? Listen to Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? 
where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. So, básicamente, ¿qué necesitan ellos y dónde van a comprar las cosas? Okay. And then we have four people from the same family. We have Jean, como la de los X-Men, Mom, Dad, and Mike. We know that Jean needs a new uh, swimsuit, but where is she going to buy it? Maybe she's going to buy the new swimsuit at a department store. Maybe she's going to get that at the uh, hotel, right? We don't know. Or in los puestecitos, you know, in the stands, you know, near the beach, right? So in your notebooks, everyone, in su cuaderno, yo les sugiero lo siguiente. Do a chart and do two columns, right? The first column is with what? And the second column is with where? And then do a list from one to four. Hacemos un cuadrito, dos columnas, cuatro nombres in there. Okay. And then be ready for the listening test. All right. And please let me know when you're ready. Okay. Hold on. Dejo de compartir solo para asesorarme que si voy a si seleccionar la, la opción de la U. All right, there we go. Okay, so can I play the listening right now? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. One, two, and... Three. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. All right, so um, let me play it a second time over there, right? Just to make sure, okay? Just to make sure that uh, you get every detail in there. But I guess up to this point, you may have half of the answers in there, but I creo que tienen la mitad de las respuestas ahí. Maybe you have the what and the word for Jim, and you might have the uh, the item that they are going to buy for everybody. Quizá ya tienen lo que ellos necesitan, ¿verdad? what they need in there. So I'm playing this again. Here we go. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. 
Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. All right, so that, that was a good listening, right? Since they are family members, all the, um, the things that they need are related somehow, right? Because they are going to have a trip, you know, to the beach, right? So I'm going to yeah, that, that's why. That's what we have. Okay. Let me just stop sharing this. Uh, one second, please. And in this case, I will choose. Now, let me ask you in there. Uh, do you have all the answers, everyone? I mean, raise your hand, please, if you do. All right. Thank you, Ms. Parman. I see that. Raise your hand, please, if you have the answers. Okay. Raise your hand, please. Si tiene las respuestas, levante la mano, por favor, ¿verdad? Si yo más o menos sondeo, what I do in there. Okay, thank you, everyone. All right, yes. Okay, nice, thank you. <clears throat> so in that case, you're going to help me, by the way, all right? Hold on, please. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and then we take it from there, all right? In this case, I'm going to choose out of the people who... Uh, rose their hand the answers in here and i will start with with the first one uh right here um mr miguel can you help me can you help me with the first one with jeans information sir what does she need and where is she going to get it right that's a question Mr. Jimenez? Uh, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, close the microphone. All right. Uh, what a swing suite wear um, uh, uh, at the market, uh, marketplace, at uh, the market. At, um, uh, at the market, she said, right? Yes, at the market. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Carmen, uh, Yes, teacher. Yeah, the next one, please. Would you help me? What does she need? I mean, no, I'm sorry. What What does she need? Which Because it's the mom. And where is she going to get it? Please. She needs to buy some cookies at the supermarket. Cookies at the supermarket, right? Okay. Yes. I'm going to do it just like that. And what, type, and what type of cookies, by the way? Do you remember? Chocolate, chocolate yes, cookies. Yes, yes. Chocolate cookies. Um, and is she going to, y perdón que abuse de su, de su ayuda, and is she going to buy the cookies by herself or somebody else will do it for her? Uh, somebody else because she, she, she will get a picnic mm -hmm, tomorrow. Correct. You're right. At the beach, yes. Your daughter will do it, right? I guess. Maybe the daughter, right, will do it, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Um, 
Mr. Um, Edwin Sevillano, would you help us, sir? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, what about the dad? What's wrong with him? He needs um, aspirin. He needs an aspirin, right? And what is he, is he going to get that? So it's going to a drugstore. Correct. You can also say pharmacy or drugstore, right? Drugstore, I'm sorry. A uh, drugstore. And you can also say pharmacy, right? Or pharmacy. Okay. Thank you. What about the uh, what about Mike uh, Floor? Would you help us, Miss Floor? Uh, my you need a magazine in magazine. Magazine, correct. He he going bookstore. He's going to get it at, at the bookstore, right? At the bookstore, correct. All right. And yeah, that's it. So what you can say, so Jean needs uh, a swimsuit and she is going to get it at the market. Mom needs chocolate cookies and her daughter will buy them at the supermarket. If the dad or dad has a headache, uh, so he needs an aspirin and he's going to drive to the drugstore, you know, to buy it. Uh, Mike uh, uh, needs something to read. So he's going to buy a magazine at the bookstore, right? Because they have a trip, you know, a family trip. Okay. Nice. Teacher. Yes. In the first, in the first case, jeans needs to buy a swimsuit in a department store. It's a department store, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting, you know, someone to actually make the correction in there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. It was, it's a department store, right? Thank you so much. Okay, department store over there. Thanks, thanks for the uh, correction over there. All right, so let's continue. The next screen will be a uh, uh, conversation, which I think you're gonna like, okay? It's going to be a conversation and that, and that you're going to practice, by the way. All right, so let me stop sharing this screen. And I will send to you the, uh, the slide in the chat. Le voy a compartir, verdad, la imagen de la conversación. Porque vamos a practicar, verdad? Entonces, así ya de una sola vez. So, uh, just one second. Bueno, antes de que, de, de que comencemos esto, un pequeño comercial, ¿verdad? Eh, con las secciones privadas. Vamos a ver a quién le corresponde esta noche. Aquí está. Miss Claudia uh, Enriquez. Ok. Me avisa si gusta, ¿verdad? O oh, si se puede quedar, ¿verdad? Después o ahorita, no se preocupe. Yes. All right, so you can stay here. All right, thank you so much. And tomorrow is going to be uh, Miss Solma, and then on Friday will be Mr. Mr. Rodriguez, Francisco in there. Right. Nice. And I also need to remind you of uh, Unit 1 uh, homework assignments, right? Eh, esto ni modo, ¿verdad? Es un mal necesario o un bien, ¿verdad? Esto. About the platform, right? Since we started on a Monday, the uh, homework should be completed by Friday, you know, the, the, the day after tomorrow. Fecha límite, verdad, propuesta es el viernes. Eh, yo actualizo notas el sábado, aunque usted puede completarlas el fin de semana, verdad. Entonces no, no hay ningún problema. Si usted hace esto todos los días, verdad, si lo hace de una forma diaria, está bien, verdad, pero solamente mi obligación es... Eh, recordatorio, right? I know you do it, right? Whenever you have the time, okay? O hacemos el tiempito, verdad? Y usted lo va haciendo ahí. Y cada quien sabe, verdad? Cómo lleva, verdad? La forma de hacer eso, okay? But I need to remind you because this is part of the 80%. You need to complete section one, two, three, and four. And after section two, you have a midterm. And after section four, you have the final exam. Los dos que nos dan más ponderación, recordemos, es el midterm y el final exam, ok, 
Then uh, section one, two, and three, and four, no dan verdad porcentaje no tan alto. Así que usted puede hacer su mat, su, su, su cálculo por ahí, right? I will give you more Teacher. details tomorrow unless you have any question right now. Yes? Teacher, uh, we need to finish all. You need one uh, for this week. Okay, the section one. Ah, okay. Section one, correct. And section one has uh, activity one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. This one, you say homework number one, homework two, homework three, homework four, and homework five. That one. That's for, for this coming Friday, right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So that's it in regards to this. Now let's go back to the conversation I was talking to you about. Hold on. Uh, that's the one. And here we go. All right. So the conversation is, can I take a message, right? Puedo tomar su mensaje, ¿verdad? O le puedo pasar el mensaje a otra persona. Si gusta, deje un mensaje, right? Can I take a message? So that's a one minute. And then this, this conversation is between a secretary and Mr. Kale. All right, and let's see what the message is about. I'm going to play this. Just pay attention, please. All right, thank you. Page 102, exercise seven conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No. It's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Page 102. I'm sorry. Let me play this again so you can get familiar with, with the uh, pronunciation model. And this time, as I'm playing the, the audio, try to uh, practice. So pretend that you're the secretary and you are Mr. Kell. Vamos a practicar. Lo, lo, que yo les lo, lo, lo que les recomiendo, perdón, es que vayamos a la par del audio diciendo la, la parte que corresponde. Like, si ellos dicen, good morning, uh, Parker Industries, usted va a decir, tratar de decirlo de la misma rapidez. Ok. Any questions so far for me? Let's see. Let me see your face. No, right? No questions right now. Ok. Este es como un desafío que yo les estoy haciendo, ¿verdad? De que voy a, voy a reproducir el audio una vez más y tratemos de seguirle, ¿verdad? El ritmo. That's what I'm saying, more, right? So, here we go. One, two, three. I'm going to do the same as well. Exercise seven, conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So, uh, but there is something strange over here in this image. You have the secretary, but Ms. Graham is in there. You can see that, that she's, she's reading the newspaper. <laughs> All right. 
So she, she doesn't want to talk to Mr. Kale, I can see. Now, let's listen to the second part of the uh, conversation. Listen to three other calls, write down the caller's names. So now be ready, please. Uh, grab a pen or a pencil or get your uh, cell phone ready. Three more, three more people will call asking for Miss Graham and write the people's name, ¿verdad? Tres personas más van a llamar, escriban el nombre de esas personas. All right? Okay, so just one second over here. Hold on. Permítame, busco el, el, el audio so I can share it with you. One second. Page 102, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to three other calls. All right, so I found the audio, just making sure. Let me play it again. I mean, let me play it, All right? Here we go. So please write down the name of the other three play uh, callers that are asking for Ms. Graham. Here we go. Just tell me if you're able to listen to this question. Me confirma si se, si se escucha, por favor. One, two, three. Here we go. Page 102, exercise seven, part B. Yes. Listen to three other calls. Write down the caller's names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I am afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. All right, okay, she doesn't even want to answer to her own daughter, I can see that, all right? Con la hija quiere hablar, but that's okay. I mean, for her, right? For her, it's okay. Um, so the first name of the caller is? Tom Lee. Tom Lee. Tom Lee, right, like Bruce Lee, I would say, right? Like, like the same last name, I would say, L-E-E. -E. What about the second one? It was a lady, right? Yes, Susan Brown. Was Susan Brown. Susan Brown. Susan right. Brown. Susan Brown. Okay. And the last one? It's Kelly. Kelly. It's there. Kelly. Kelly, right? Yeah. It's Kelly in there. Were, were you able to, to take notes of the uh, number that Susan Brown gave? Uh, six, four, six, five, 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 four, oh, three, seven. 4037, all right, 4037. Let's do something over here. I'm going to play the audio a last time so you can write the number down, okay? If you want to, let's see. Let, let me see if I can find it. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I am afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Susan Brown. All right, so let's write the number down. Pues escribamos el número de teléfono, por favor. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Okay, so what's the number then, uh, my friends? Eight four five 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 nine. 
Okay, um, good. So the last thing that we're going to do is to practice this, everyone, to practice this conversation, just to finish the night in, in four minutes. We're going to do this. So I'm going to send you to a breaker room. And after that, we say goodbye. Okay. So, okay. yes. Here we go. All right. G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please. Uh, sorry. All right. Please. <laughs> Tell our meeting is on Friday at 2 and 30. Mm -hmm. Friday at 2.30. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm so, I'm sorry, she's not in a can I take a message? Yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. Is that a G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. Mm -hmm. All right. Please tell her your meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And call you ask her to call me this after afternoon. My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Miss Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham this message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Ahora, quién conmigo? Susi, Susi. Correct. Diana. Okay. Comienzo yo. Okay. Yeah, you start. Muy bien. Ah, no ustedes ahora ya hice vale. lo mío. Ahora yo soy el yo soy el secretario. Okay. Uh -huh. y, y Edwin es el secretario. La presidencia. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Parks Industries. Hello. May I speak to me, Graham, please? Please. Yes. Please, there are here. Our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Uh, Friday at 2.30. And... No pasamos. Vamos a minute. 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 Vamos a Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Your connection is not stable. Yeah, it's slow. 
Se le cayó la señal, Miss Flor. Se cortó, creo yo. Es que ya desde Guatemala. Six for six. Right, thank you, everyone. Thanks, God. We did it. The third date of classes. I would say it was it was a good one. So thanks for joining. Hope to see you tomorrow. And have a great night. All right. God bless you. See you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. And then Miss Claudia. Bye, Mr. Nelson. Goodbye, Miss Ulma. Goodbye, Mr. Gamero. Just one second. Ahí está. No se podían salir, así que los tengo que mandar a la <laughs> Dios. <laughs> Vayan a descansar. <laughs> los hipotes van, se quedan ahí solamente y se van. Solo, solo me da acabar. El fantasma. <laughs> Me imagino que quizás eh, necesitaría ayuda de lo de ayer, ¿verdad? De lo de ayer, sí. sí eso está. Vi, vi, lo que, vi lo que mandó, pero no tuve tiempo de hacerlo, sí. los ejercicios. Sí, vaya, vamos a revisar, a ver, a ver si me acuerdo. <risa> ah, compartemos la pantalla, entonces, aquí ven esto. Fíjense que ayer fue práctica de la cuestión de los... De los eh, nombres contables y no contables, ¿verdad? Ajá, lo que empezamos a ver eh, en la primera clase. En la primera clase. La primera clase fue bien pesadita, pero al final todo se resumía en que usted supiera cómo utilizarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. lo primero que hicimos fue esto, eh, corrección de errores o identificación de errores. Y ese es el documento que, que quiero que revisemos juntos, si le parece. ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo lo estoy buscando ahorita. Aquí está. A ver. Ya lo tengo. Vaya, vamos a buscarlo por acá. Buena tormenta, ¿verdad? Que cayó ayer, ¿verdad? Sí. Me afligí, me afligí una hora más. Bueno, yo estaba por Santa Elena a las 8 y uh -huh. cayó una gran tormenta. Llegué a mi casa como nueve y media o nueve cuarenta. Intenté conectarme, pero... No se podía. Ya, ya, ya. ya me afligí. Sabe que, perdón, yo me voy a acostar a las diez y media, digamos, es cuando tengo todo listo. Uh -huh. Pero ayer me fui a acostar hasta las once, hasta que se me convirtió el video. Si no, no iba a poder dormir de afligido. De, de pensando, ¿verdad? Pensar de que. De que si va a funcionar una hora o no. Más funciona. o dos horas se me, no se me grabaron eso. Uh -huh. Me preocupa. Um, pero gracias a Dios, no, ¿verdad? No me pusieron ningún pero ni nada. Al final. El tiempo y lo ahora, ahora me mandaron un mensajito preguntando, ¿no te vimos conectada ayer? Y yo, ¿eh? ¿Están pendientes de mí? Sí, no, viera cómo fiscalizan. Huh? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Ahí está, vaya. Yo, pero ahora sí me voy a conectar. Sí. <risa> <risa> no, y fíjese que por lo menos usted leyó el mensaje o le respondió. Hay mucha gente que a veces sí. tiene varios días de no conectarse y lo que hace bloquea el número, entonces. No, yo, yo contesté. Como es un, acuérdese que este es el ámbito empresarial pues en, en que se mueve Insafor, ¿verdad? Y la empresa de eso vive, tiene que rebuscarse para ver. El qué. otro día al menos me conecté en el teléfono, pero ayer cuando estuvo fue, en, en la empresa. Estaba que, trabajando. Ah, y que se le quedaban viendo raro. Y así como, y ya está hablando. Vaya. Tengo clase. Ajá. Vaya, eh, prácticamente aquí usted me tiene que ayudar a identificar el, si se le va a agregar el A o el AN. AN o D. O se le va a borrar, ¿verdad? La palabra. Y yo le voy a dar, digamos, como la ley de oro, digamos, la, o la regla uh -huh. de oro. El nombre es este, mire, este que le estoy yo. Ajá. Se lo, voy a, se lo voy a poner ahí, ¿verdad? De otro color. De ahí usted, con base a estas palabras, tiene que identificar si la palabra... Por se, ejemplo, did singular? she order a coffee? Uh -huh. O and coffee. Las bebidas... Coffee. Las bebidas... ¿Verdad? Y cuestiones de comu comidas no se pueden ni ponerse una S ni no. se le puede individualizar. Ponerle una A. Un an. mm. Ok. 
¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí que es una taza en inglés. Um, cup. My cup. My cup. En este uh -huh. caso sí se puede porque está solo es una taza, ¿verdad? No está refiriéndose al líquido, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, vale, vamos aquí sobre. Identifiquémosle en este caso que la palabra es pregunta. ¿Verdad? Todo esto uh -huh. es la pregunta, pero lo que se está refiriéndose a la, a la pregunta fácil. ¿Verdad? Todo eso es su sujeto. Uh -huh. I need time to finish my homework. I need time. Aquí, esta es la que usted tiene que identificar. Agregarle a o an o de. Vamos a hacer solamente 10 de esta. O hasta ahí quizás. Sí. Este, vaya. They have new car. Así era, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que le sí. faltaba? La A. A new car. Uh -huh. Ellos tienen un carro nuevo. Uh -huh. Did she order coffee at the restaurant? ¿Por qué supuestamente está correcta esta, esta? Por lo que me decía que si es bebida, no, no puede anteponer a, a o Exacto. di. Exacto. Bueno, el di sí se puede poner. El digamos, di sí, pero no, no va ahí. No, porque no está identificando, solo Ajá, dice ordenó, sí. ordenó café. Sí. Okay. No es el café de, ¿verdad? No, de ahí no. I bought milk at the supermarket, compré... Leche en el supermercado, no va a decir una leche. No va a decir una leche ni unas leches. No. Uh -huh. O sea que estaría correcta. Exactly, this is correct. Do Number you... four, do you still use phone that you phone. bought? El, el, el nombre es phone. Entonces... Entonces sería, ah, phone. Yo sé, un, this un teléfono. The, uh, this, this, pregunta a usted, ¿todavía usa un teléfono que compró o el teléfono que compró? El, entonces, D. Exactly, exactly. Use, use the phone. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you still use the phone that phone you bought? Or the phone that you bought? Correct, sí. correct. Uh -huh. La misma lógica le dice a uno. Sí, sí. Sí. Solo que uno se enfoca en los primeros dos. Exactly. Y quiere encontrar esos. <laughs> y no son. <laughs> exactly. Dice, oh, no, my cup just fell on. Esta es una y de ahí vamos a identificar esta. No. Oh, no. Mi oh, cup, on the floor. On the floor, correct. On the floor. Good, good, good. Okay. Number six. That was? Was a C question. Entonces sería A. Ajá. Exactly. That was a AC question. An easy question. An. An easy Ajá, an easy and easy. Sería an. An easy. An easy. Y es yeah. local. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Luego, cuando usted se refiera a tiempo de hora, eh, nunca le va a agregar a o am. Um. No. Es on, ¿verdad? Ah, on, no, on. de hecho, nada. A, a tiempo sí, ¿verdad? Está, pero esa es una expresión ah, yeah. de, uh, on time, ¿verdad? Estar a tiempo. Pero si usted necesita un tiempo, my... no. Usted necesita un minuto, 30 sí. segundos, una hora, un día. No necesita, o sea, tiempo es tiempo. Ajá, eso es. No van a ponerle nada. Exacto, exacto. Es, una, es un, algo abstracto, ¿verdad? Que no se puede medir, al menos que usted ya lo utilice, ¿verdad? Nosotros nos hemos inventado ese sistema, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. ahí dice, I need time, right? Time to finish my homework. Sí, time. Basic. Bye. Entonces, eh, ahí dejamos este ejemplo. Ahora, vamos a hacer lo, lo demás que teníamos en la clase de ayer. La, la regla ah, de oro... Ya, ya entendí lo que hay que hacer. Sí, la regla de oro es, y algo también que yo, yo quería compartirle, ¿verdad? Porque esto creo que sí nos va a facilitar mucho ya en la vida real ocupar, entender los, estos nombres contables o incontables es... Cuando usted pregunta, usted va a preguntar, how many, cuántos o cuántas, sí. le pregunto, cuántas personas, uh, no sé, llegan uh, a la embajada. Usted me va a decir, how many people, right? Ok. How many people? How many, right? ¿Cuántas mascotas tiene? How many pets do you have? Right? Two. Two, right? Two ok, uh -huh. entonces, porque usted los puede contar, ¿verdad? One sí. and two, right? Nombre y apellido, right? Raza, sí. ¿verdad? Edad, uh -huh. everything, right? Sí. 
Pero digamos que si yo le pregunto cuánta agua tomó, ya iba a ser how much. Much. How much, ¿verdad? Cuando digamos que no se puede contar. Cuando no se puede contar, va a ser how much. ¿verdad? Aunque y si le dice un litro, ahí va igual a no. No, I, I, yo le puedo hacer la pregunta how much water do you drink, pero me estoy refiriendo a cuánta agua. Pero de ahí si yo le agua? pregunto how many liters, ahí le voy a preguntar how many liters, or how many glasses of water, o uh -huh. cuántos vasos. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero el líquido en sí. No se puede medir. Inmenso, ¿verdad? Al menos que esté en uh -huh. un recipiente. Ok. Uh, creo que le estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Entonces. ¿Sí? Por eso es que usted dice, mire, cuando, cuando usted responde, dice, Tommy has many pets. Tiene muchos, muchas mascotas. Uh -huh. O nosotros tenemos muchos amigos. We have many friends. Ok. En el caso contrario es aquí, mire, la pregunta, how much time did it take to finish the, the work? ¿Cuánto le llevó terminar el trabajo? Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ok. Usted podría preguntarle cuántas horas le llevó, how many hours. Ahí ya cambia, ¿verdad? Porque está especificando las horas. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Pero usted puede decidir fácilmente. Usted me puede Siempre preguntar. y cuando que lo pueda contar es how many. Uh -huh. Siempre que no lo pueda, eh, cuando no lo puedo contar, eh, contar how much. Exacto. A menos que le agregue una medida, ¿verdad? O algo, ¿verdad? una escala. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, cuántos vasos ya sería uh -huh. how many. How many, correcto. Vaya, el a lot of, a lot of, si usted tiene algo en mucha cantidad, esto es universal, esta palabra es universal, que significa uh -huh. que a lot of aplica con cualquier palabra. Si usted se está refiriendo, yo tengo mucho trabajo, I have a lot of work, ¿verdad? Y la palabra work en realidad es, 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 es incontable porque la palabra en sí no la puede contar. Usted puede contar uh -huh. las actividades que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Pero la carga de trabajo no, ¿verdad? Usted dice, yo tengo mucha carga de trabajo, ¿verdad? La palabra en sí no se puede contar, pero yo usted dice, tengo que hacer esto, esto, lo otro, uh -huh. ahí sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces usted dice, a lot of, a lot of es muchos, o muchas. ¿Ok? Y usted dice, yo tengo mucho tiempo, I have a lot of time. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Tengo mucha hambre, I have a lot of, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very hungry, o sea, ahí, ahí no va eso, perdón. Pero a lot of, lo que le quiero dar a entender es que usted ocupe esta palabra a lot of cuando se refiera a algo mucho, bastante, bastante. Como que no lo puedo contar. Ajá. Y, y, y esto aplica con cualquier palabra. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. verdad. Eso fue lo que cubrimos el día de ayer y e hicimos un par de ejercicios y solamente le voy a a especificar el ejercicio que quisiera que hiciera, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé, cuando tenga tiempo el fin de semana. Sí, um, sí, porque de hecho la clase de ayer la voy a ver el sábado. Uh -huh. Entonces, um, let's see which one over here. Right. Vamos a buscar el acceso. All right, here we go. Dígame la terminación de su, de su uh, WhatsApp, por favor. Eh, 72, 96, 95, 58. 95, 58. There you go. Ahí está. Bye. Ahí está. Ese que está ahí es el que vamos a trabajar. Sí. Y, y básicamente lo que usted tiene que hacer en, en esas imágenes, ahorita le comparto pantalla. Eh, es um, poner el plural. No, solamente no. definir si es contable o incontable. Uh, uh -huh. a, a count o. Ajá, count y, or no count. count o no count. No count. All right. No count. Y para que no haga mucho trabajo, porque no hicimos mucho, la verdad, solo va a ser el ejercicio uno. Uno. Right. Only the first one. Ah, bye. Y luego se va a ir a la parte inferior y ahí usted va a, a darle finish, ¿verdad? Ajá. Que lo tenga incompleto. Sí. Y como ahí marcan las que están correctas. Exacto. Entonces, porque son varios correcto. ejercicios que no cubrimos uh -huh. porque era demasiado. Entonces, sí. había que priorizar. Right. Está bien. Así que gracias a Dios lo logramos. Ya son las 10.17 already. Sí. <ríe> 
le sale mejor así, ¿verdad, Tichi? Sí. Que antes, estar la hora y que no se conectan. Eh, eran tres horas seguidas que me tocaba estar aquí. Sí. Y para ustedes también solo son, ya sabe usted ese programa y ya sí. sabe que va a sí. estar ahí. Es más productivo. Sí. 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 Bueno, gracias, Tichi. You're welcome. So, hope to see you tomorrow, Miss Enriquez. Sí. All right. Good night. Good night.